The purpose of this video is to show you how to thread the, the Janome 509 Sewist. The first thing that you do is you're going to be removing the spool cover, the spool holder. This is the little guy that holds the spool into place. Here's my spool of thread and you want to make sure that the round center goes on the spindle. That allows the thread to evenly uh, unwind from the spool. Put the spool holder back in place. This is real important. If that's not on there, you're not going to be sewing. So super important. The other thing I want to remind you guys is when you take the spool holder off, you never take it out of your hand. You keep it in your hand. So it comes off, stays in your hand, put the spool of thread on, and you put it right back on. That spool holder never, ever is set on our table. It's either in our hand or it's on the spindle. That's the only two places for the spool holder. Okay, now we're going to remove some of the thread. And I like to wind the thread around my left finger and my right finger. And now I have it nice and taut. And notice this thread guide. It's got a little arrow. And it's just telling me that I need to pull the thread towards myself. Pull it towards you. And listen. Right there, there was a little click. So now we know that the thread guide is in, and the threads, the guide puts the thread in the right, the right, the exact right place for us. Let's now check out the numbers on the machine. If you can count to four, you can thread the machine. Number one has an arrow pointing towards yourself, and it's guiding you down here to two. Two has a U-turn, so it's telling you to come up to three. There's another U-turn at three. You're going to come around the thread take-up leather, or the Loch Ness Monster, and you're going to come down into the left channel to four. So those are the numbers I want you to pay close attention to. Let's go back up and this time do it with thread. So you take your thread and you're going down in the right hand channel. You're coming back up on the U-turn U turn, and you're coming around on the U-turn here for three. But when you get here you need to stop. Take a look. Right here the Loch Ness Monster, it ha his head has an eye in it and that thread needs to get into that eye. Now you don't have to thread it like you would a hand sewing machine needle or anything like that. All you need to do is when you get to this point, pick it up. Pick up the thread and pull it towards you. When you pick up the thread and pull it towards you, it slips right into the eye of the Loch Ness Monster and you're set. Please make sure that you get the thread through that eye. If you don't take that step and pick the thread up and bring it towards you, it won't go in there and, and the machine will not sew correctly. You'll have nothing but trouble. Okay, we now, now need, we'll, we now will proceed to four. Four brings us to here, but we're not done. There's this little hook, and if you see it, you can see it from the back. It's got a little hook there. We need to get the thread behind the hook, so let's get that thread behind the hook. And what that does is it's going to guide the thread. It's going to guide that thread to the front of the machine. Super important that we get the thread behind the hook. What that does, it takes some of the tension off the thread and it allows it to flow freely. We're now ready to put the thread through the eye of the needle. So just like with a hand sewing needle, we thread it the same way. We want to make sure we have a nice, blunt, clean uh, end to the thread. It helps sometimes to put a little saliva on the thread. And then I like to get a real short tail and capture it or trap it between my two index fingers. And then watch where the eye is and just drive it straight back. Now when I do this, I want to show you something. I'm going to pull away my left finger and I'm going to keep my right one there. That needle is threaded. But if I'm not careful, when I move out my right hand, my fingers can sometimes unthread it. So the, the nice trick here is put your left hand back in there, grab the thread with the left hand, the pointer and your thumb, and then gently remove your right pointer and now you can pull that thread taut. And that's how you thread the top of the machine.